Fantasy Fishing is back this year, presented by Straight Talk, and a lot of money is on the line. You don't have to fish like a pro to win like a pro. And for all you players, here's a little strategy session for you. We sat down with Brett Carlson, one of our Fantasy Fishing pundits. Brett Carlson, B R E T T C A R L S O N. If I was new to fantasy fishing, uh, I would first look into Player's Advantage, which is a set of online tools. Each one of them brings something different to the table. One is lake specific, one is how a fisherman matches up with a lake, one is actually direct uh, reports from the fisherman as to how their practice is going. Each one brings something different to the table that will help you make your few picks. The most useful tool of Player's Advantage is Pundit's Picks. It gives you an idea of who we, FLW staff members, are picking. And we've been covering these guys for tens of years. We know how they fish. We know their styles. Take a look at Pundit's Picks. Another player's advantage tool is the lake report. The lake report gives you detailed information as to how the lake is fishing. Is it a natural lake, a grass lake, a tidal fishery, etc. In addition, information is there as to how previous FLW tournaments have been won on that fishery in the past. In professional fishing, anglers often have what's called a home lake advantage, and we have a tool that assesses that. It's called the local finder. Uh, check out the local finder to see which pros live near a given fishery and how that affects their tournament performance. The most comprehensive player's advantages tool is called Fantasy Trend. And what Fantasy Trend does, it captures of all the people that are playing fantasy fishing, which anglers have been picked the most. In the, in the four years we played FLW Fantasy Fishing, David Dudley is the most picked angler according to the Fantasy Trend. One thing that I would take a look at, if you're, if you're familiar with the game, is take a look at the exclusive video that Rob Newell does with during practice. A lot of times you can get clues from guys as to how their practice is actually going. If a guy looks tired, crabby, odds are he's putting extra time in because he's not on fish. Uh, conversely, if practice is going well, you can see a guy has a lot of energy, he's excited about the tournament. Yeah, looking at body language can really a lot of times clue you in on how practice is going and, and how that translates into the actual tournament. We go again, do it again. Remember, it's never too late to pick your team. Just go to FantasyFishing.com. It's free to play, so sign up today. If you're planning on bringing your family to events like the Forestwood Cup here on Lake Washita or following the action on FLW Outdoors each week, there'll be a new face. Laura Shera is joining the FLW Outdoors broadcast team this season, and believe me, her resume is perfectly suited for her new role. In the land of a thousand lakes, the name Shera is synonymous with the outdoors. For decades, Ron Shera has captured TV audiences by catching just about everything under the Minnesota sun. Many times he had one of his daughters, Laura, along for the adventure. You know, I really was a tomboy growing up. I followed my dad everywhere he went. You know, he was wearing cowboy boots, I had to wear cowboy boots. And I really started getting into fishing with him at a very young age. It's a good way to grow up. Laura Shera is all grown up now, but she's still following her dad. She's become a regular on outdoor television after Ron gave her a microphone to go along with the fishing pole. I would, you know, go fishing on a small lake that's five minutes outside of downtown Minneapolis or, um, you know, interview people who are, you know, biking in minus 20 degree weather as a group. So. Um, that's how I, I really started getting into the television and outdoor side of things and from there it just it kind of took off. It, it just was, I guess, a, a natural fit. Once again, opportunity has come calling and now she's looking forward to fitting in with her new FLW family too. I'm very excited to be working with the FLW. Um, it's definitely a new adventure for me. I can't say I've spent a lot of time fishing myself in um, southern states. So just that alone is very exciting, but also how these guys, before they even hit a lake, what are they doing to prepare for it? And, and how, what are their techniques in finding these trophy fish? And not to mention, I hopefully I'll have the opportunity to wet a line or two with them. <laughs>
And you can tell Laura is looking forward to a great year. Coming up, we take you to icy Minnesota and introduce you to a National Guardsman with a story you'll never forget.